Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you all the new Paula McClay charms that I have made for my own personal collection since my last charm update. So all the charms I'm showing you today are made out of Paula McClay and I do have videos on my channel um, featuring some of these and I have tutorials and whatnot. So the ones that I do have videos on, I'll leave all those links down in the description for you to check out after you finish watching this video. So to begin, I have this cute little red panda charm and this is one of the charms that I have a video on. So that will be linked down below and that's just what the back looks like. And I really love the way this one turned out. It's probably one of my favorite charms actually. Next up I have these little Polaroid picture charms and I know I just said I really like the red panda the most out of this charm update but I think I probably also really like these. Um, so these are made out of polymer clay like the white part and then I painted on the designs just using some acrylic paint. So in the pictures I've included some different sunsets and silhouettes and then of course they've got a little kawaii face on them as well. This one just has some power lines and the moon and some stars up the top. This one's like a very warm colored sunset with some wheat and grass in the foreground and then in the background there's some little birds that are flying away, <laughs> I guess. There's some cactuses or cacti in this one. This one has a really pretty sunset with just some forest trees and like the Milky Way and galaxy up in the sky. And finally, this one's a very like greeny blue sunset over top of some mountains which have some snow on them. And I did also try to add some like northern lights using some um, like pearlescent powder. It's a little bit hard to see on camera though. Here I have this planet cat and this was made for a Sophie and Toffee video to try out some of the different materials. So I made most of it out of polymer clay and then I just decorated with some different glitters and gold leaf and um, some kind of little crystal parts so that's what it looks like this planet of course has the rings around it so I guess it could kind of be like satin um, that's the bottom oh and I also painted some little constellations on it as well and then we just got the little cat hanging off these next charms are also cat related and these are some s'mores cats so I've got two different designs of the same kind of concept um, oops I'll show you this one first so it's got the biscuit or the cracker on the bottom. Then I've made some chocolate using brown polymer clay and I've just glazed it so it looks shiny. And then on top we've got the little cat which is kind of meant to look like the marshmallow. That's why it's very chubby and it's also got some chocolate sauce on top. And then this one, very similar thing except this cat is extra chubby as you can see and it's kind of been toasted on the belly. So I just shaded on some chalk pastels. These next three charms I have here were made for a little bit of a challenge video where I combine animals and a dessert using a random number generator. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, and these are the three charms I came up with in that video. So this one here is a jellyfish combined with a marshmallow. So the body of the jellyfish I made just like a regular marshmallow and it's toasted on top similar to the s'mores cat. And then the tentacles I tried to incorporate some of um, like the marshmallow colors. I've got some swirls of yellow, pink, and blue, but they are quite pastel and it's a little bit hard to see, but that's how that one turned out. The next one I have is this um, this one was a wolf and a cake slice. So I combined the two ideas to create this, which I'm really happy with. I really love the colors on it and I don't know, just the overall design I think looks really cool. And then the final one from that video, it was a fish combined with a macaron. So I came up with this fish shaped macaron and it is inspired by the Rainbow Fish book. So it's got some very pretty scales on the front and I just used some different glitters and pigment powders. And then on the inside, I actually used some UV resin mixed with some glitters. So that's what those three look like. Next I have this charm from Easter which I know was quite a while ago now but I haven't had a chance to do a charm update. So this is the character Pusheen in an Easter egg. It's kind of like an Easter bunny Pusheen. Um, 
she, I, I think it's, a, I'm pretty sure it's a she. I always think it, um, Pusheen's a boy, but I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Um, so she is wearing some little bunny ears and then I've also got the Easter egg. I really love how the detailing on the egg turned out. I used some, um, pigments to kind of shade it. And then after I baked the charm, I added some details with just acrylic paint and I used my needle tool to create some really fine lines and designs. These charms I have here are really simple ones and these were for a beginner's uh, video. So I'll just show you them really quickly. I've got this simple rainbow. There's a popsicle with, or creamsicle because it does have cream in it, um, popsicle with some sprinkles. I've got a very simple little apple charm. There's this little pot in a, oh, a pot in a plant. There's a plant in a pot. And then I also have this whale. I then have these three donut designs and these were kind of like trial practice ones for uh, designs that I wanted to sell in my shop and I just kind of kept these ones. So this one over here is one of my scratch art donuts. This was the very first one I was just kind of um, testing out the design. So you can see if I zoom in, it's got like um, kind of scratch uh, up the top of the donut and then down the bottom it's got the kawaii face and behind it it's got some glitter. So this one didn't really turn out as well because the colors aren't as bright but it gave me kind of the idea of what I wanted to do. And then these two are sunset donuts, both slightly different. So this one's very like pinky orange and it's got some forest trees and like um, a galaxy and then this one over here is like the northern lights over the mountains so that's what they look like this next creation is a charm bracelet that I made for a Sophie and Toffee video now it is polymer clay but some of it is resin so not all the different parts are polymer clay um, but it is pretty much like a bee flower very spring themed bracelet so the little bees are made out of polymer clay the leaves are made out of polymer clay and I'm pretty sure the rest is resin so you can see I've got some um, little resin honeycomb pieces. There's some flowers in different colors. And yeah, I do have a video on this one if you are interested. Here I have a bunch of Among Us crewmates or imposter characters. So I'll show you each of these in a little bit more detail. Starting off, we've got red with some devil horns. And then on the back, they've all got the little um, kind of backpack thing. They all have that. So I won't show you that for all of them. But this is a red one with devil horns. There's a pink one with a flower hat, orange with bear ears, yellow with the brain slug, green with a flower pot, cyan with a banana peel, blue with a chef's hat, purple with the plant hat, black with the crown, and finally there's white with the little crewmate hat. Next up, I've got these six designs and these were all from the same video where I tried to recreate some of my followers charms and this is how they turned out. I'll show you them each individually. This first design is like a little bunny head and it has some sunflowers on its head. I'll also leave each of the original creators um, handles or Instagram handles on the screen somewhere for you if you would like to go check out those different artists. Then we have this little turtle and that's what the back looks like. I'm really happy with how the shell turned out. I always find it really hard to make turtle shells but this one turned out pretty good. Then there's this little ice cream bear and you can see that the head of the bear is like an ice cream scoop. Then of course on top it's got some chocolate drizzle or sauce and also a little cherry. This one here is a little bunny character on a cake. So you can see there's some frosting in between each layer. On top there's some kind of like a lavender color with some sprinkles. And then the bunny's also holding a little lavender rose as well. And that's what the back looks like. This design is a whale and it's meant to look like it is stitched or like crocheted. I think, oh, I've forgotten what the real word is. It starts with A. I think it's Amigurumi. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is an Amigurumi whale. 
And then this final creation is a bottle shaker, and this is probably one of my favorites. It's a succulent themed shaker. So on top on the cork, it's got a larger succulent. And then inside I've used some shaker oil, and it's also got some smaller succulents with some little rocks or pebbles I made using gray granite clay. There's some glitter and also some fake polymer clay sand. So this one's actually held up really well. I didn't um, glaze the succulents that were inside because I was going to try and seal in the chalk pastels that I've shaded them with, but it actually hasn't come off in the oil. So I'm very impressed and I really like how this one turned out. And then finally for this charm update today, I have a whole bunch of ice cream waffle cone designs. So I'll show you each of these. I do have, um, well, I have filmed tutorials on all of them. I don't know if they'll be out yet by the time this video goes up, but uh, they will be up eventually. I might actually show you these in pairs. So over here on this side, we have a lemon ice cream with some little cane slices. And then this one on the right is a watermelon themed one. So it's got some different swirls of ice cream. And then I've added some little black micro marbles to kind of look like watermelon seeds. This one on the left is just a regular vanilla ice cream, but it's got some rainbow sprinkles all over it. And then the one on the right is a blueberry themed ice cream. So it's got a light blue ice cream with some uh, darker blue sauce and some little blueberries on top as well. These next ones I'm showing you are a little bit more decorated than the previous four. So I'll show you them individually. This one is a chocolate ice cream and down the bottom on the cone, it's got some chocolate sauce with some like little nuts or um, sprinkles or something. And then on top we have kind of like a caramel donut, a chocolate and caramel macaron and just a simple strawberry. This one here is kind of meant to be a pink lemonade themed. So it's got some uh, pink ice cream. There's some glitter, some pink drizzle. And then on the side, it's got some lemon slices and also some little leaves, which I mainly just added for some color really. <laughs> For this one, I'm not entirely sure what the overall kind of flavor design uh, is. But anyway, it's got some purple ice cream, some purple drizzle with uh, nuts in the drizzle. Then it's got an like an Oreo or just a regular cookie or biscuit. It's got some pretzels and a wafer. And then down on the cone here, it's got some blue drizzle with some rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> And finally, this one is the most decorated of all the ice creams. It has rainbow ice cream. Then on top, it's got some rainbow lollipops, a cookie, a strawberry, some white drizzle, some like little chocolate bits and pieces, maybe Maltesers, I'm not entirely sure. And then around the cone, it's got some chocolate drizzle uh, running down with some rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> So they are all the new charms that I have to show you today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.